Welcome to the YouTube channel. Today we will see how we can auto populate SharePoint list column based on value in one column using Power Automate. So we will cover how to auto populate the SharePoint list column based on another column using Power Automate. So for this I have taken an example of SharePoint list that is employee directory. So this is the employee directory list where uh, this list contains first name, last name, joining date, department and organization email. Organization email is the auto populated column. This column will create it based on the first name and the last name. Let's say when a new employee is added to the list, it will automatically generate an email address by using the first name and the last name. For example, the first name is Grady and the last name is Jennifer. Then it will create Grady.Jennifer at the rate psinfo.com. Let's say another person will also add it with the same first name and the last name. Then it will create Grady.Jennifer2 at the rate psinfo.com. Similarly, if the same, if another person's first name and last name is same, then it will create grady.jennifer3 at the red tsinfo.com. For this, I have created my flow. So, this is the flow. When an item will create it, this is an automated cloud flow. This flow will trigger when an, when a new employee is added to the employee directory. So, in compose action, I am taking the title. Title is the first name of the employee dot last name. Then, here I am creating the organization email of the employee. Now we are filtering the query that organization email field contains this um, email. Then, then it will get all those items and uh, we will, then I have our counter variable uh, which is uh, initialized as zero. And uh, here we are checking that those organization email is equal to the organization email uh, we have already in the list the organization email i have created like uh, this organization email is equal to the organization email which is in the list then if the condition becomes true then counter will be become one and the and the new the new item is added to the list will be updated as will be updated with the because as the name is already available in the list so we are incrementing the counter variable as one and then we are adding that counter variable so the let's say grady jennifer uh, dot uh, tsinfo.com is already available and another person is having the same first name and last name then he is uh, then we are setting the variable as ready jennifer1 at the rate psinfo.com as the organization email and we are updating the item here uh, let's run the flows click on save now click on test button okay my flow is now disabled so i will turn on my flow now i will go to the edit button now i will test my flow click on manually then click on test button so here I will create another item with name Lily Steven, which is already available in our list. Let's say joining date is 14, department is HR, account enabled, save. So here you can see Lily Steven is already available in our list. So we have created another employee with the same name. So we will see here you can see lily.steven1 at the rate tsinfo.com. The new email ad address is generated based on the first name and the last name of the employee. So that's all for today. We will see you on next video. Till then, keep watching. Do subscribe to our channel to see lot more free video tutorial on SharePoint Online, Power Automate, Power BI, Python, and many more. Thanks for watching.